Well, after a two-year investigation, Nanaimo RCMP arrested a 40-year-old man they say defrauded investors of more than $2 million. Nanaimo resident Michael Chodorowski is facing a number of charges, including laundering the proceeds of crime and fraud over $5,000. In January, a series of mystery shockwaves rocked the West Shore. Czech News traced those blasts to two companies across the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Now, it appears it's happening again, but this time with different results. Kylie Stanton has more. Oh, what a mess. Broken wood is picked up and piled. Pieces of flooring, walls and shingles. What was once a barn is now in this mound of debris. There was a wall on that side with a window in it that fell outwards across the driveway and of course the window broke and then everything else just seems to have just pancaked down. It happened Thursday morning, moments after a massive rumble ripped through the area. Heavy, heavy sort of sounds and the last one was sort of a rolling. The sounds caught the attention of neighbors who were inside this home at the time and first on the scene. Looked out the window and burn was gone. No one was inside, but the impact sent these animals scrambling. Dogs hiding for hours while donkeys took shelter in a nearby paddock. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's the other half. Making going through the wreckage piece by piece unsettling. It's a bit scary. And if somebody is causing this kind of damage with their whatever they're doing, we need to know. It's not the first time these blasts have been felt in the area. Last month, when there were similar reports, Czech News solved the mystery, determining a company called Pacific Aerospace that works to bond metals together and is located just across the water here in Squim, Washington, was responsible. Now, we spoke with a representative from that company once again today who did confirm they were conducting a series of blasts on Thursday morning. But there's currently no protocol in place to warn people here. And given the recent impact, that's concerning. If the people are doing something that would cause, if it's a man-made uh, uh, cause, then it has to be stopped because you can't have that kind of damage being caused. Even warning doesn't uh, uh, suffice or, or, or avoid the costs of the consequences of the damage it might do. The blasts happen regularly, but are only felt under certain atmospheric conditions. Residents say the loud air blasts are enough to shake their walls and rattle their windows. This is a picture of the original building. But for it to be strong enough to bring down this structure is considered a strong enough case for a response. We'd like to know ahead of time if that's at all possible so that we can, you know, round up the animals and make sure they're okay. We've got a lot of animals on the farm, so. If anybody had been in there, you know, it could have been a tragedy.